question, the member from Kingston and the Island. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Research, Innovation and Science. Over the past few years, Ontario has become a leading destination for companies interested in opening research and development branches. Ontario has one of the highest educated workforces in the world, a low tax rate and red tape burden reduction. These commerce-friendly policies make doing business in Ontario profitable, stable and enticing for private entities looking to expand into new markets. A particularly exciting area is Ontario's massively expanding tech sector, an industry that is expanding at an exponential rate in my riding of Kingston and the Islands, a city where history and innovation thrive. One great example of an innovation incubator is the Breakout Project, which started yesterday at Fort Henry in Kingston and the Islands and is sponsored Question. by the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Sport. Mr. Speaker, could the Minister of Research and Innovation and Science please tell the members of this House about tech companies investing in Ontario? Thank you, Minister of Research, Innovation you, and Mr. Science. Speaker, I want to thank the member from Kingston and the Islands. She has been a great advocate for research and innovation, in particular at her area. Mr. Speaker, the member is absolutely correct. Companies all over the globe recognize Ontario for its reputation as a business-friendly ecosystem. That's right. Mr. Speaker, just a couple of days ago, Uber, a popular rideship company that has deep interest in artificial intelligence, announced they would be starting a partnership with our Vector Institute for Artificial Intelligence as a platinum investor. This marks the first occasion that Uber has ever invested outside of the United States on research and development. The R&D office at Vector Institute will be led by University of Toronto Professor Raquel Utterson is a move that speaks volumes to our capacity for talent retention. Mr. Thank Speaker, you. we will awesome. continue Sir. building our innovation economy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Minister of Research, Innovation and Science for his answer. I am delighted to hear this fantastic news. I can't think of a better testament to Ontario's capacity for leadership in this sector. Creating new jobs isn't a simple matter of reducing red tape and supporting existing sectors. It's a matter of training a highly skilled workforce, assisting entrepreneurs in commercializing their ideas, and attracting businesses that are looking to expand into new tech economies. We need to be leaders and visionaries in the innovation field to increase our capacity, and we are doing that. Can the minister elaborate a bit more on the types of companies who are established in Ontario and are contributing to Ontario's economy? Thank, thank you, Mr. Minister. Speaker. Again, I want to thank the member from Kingston and the Islands for her question. I would be delighted, Mr. Speaker, to speak a little more about international investments in Ontario innovation. Last year, Versant Ventures and Bayer AG partnered to invest in Blue Rock Therapeutics, which is a stem cell research company in, based in Discovery Center at Mars. Their investment, which was a total of $225 million, was the second largest Series A financing for a medical science company. In January of this year, Highland Therapeutics was able to secure $200 million in financing from Morgan Stanley Company. Mr. Speaker, this is just the beginning. More and more tech and the medicine firms are looking to invest in our province of Ontario's innovation and research. Thank you, Mr. Thank Speaker. Thank you. Your question, the member from Leeds.